Earlier this year, we brought Gemini's multimodal understanding to the physical world with Gemini Robotics, allowing robots to behave in interactive, dexterous and general ways. Previously, robots could complete one task per instruction. Previous Gemini Robotics version has been tested over and over and over again to put this banana into the bowl. This is a very simple task. Today, we've reached a new milestone. We're introducing Gemini Robotics 1.5, a new family of models to power the next generation of physical agents. Now, for the first time, they can solve longer, multi-step challenges, like taking the banana test a step further. So I'm going to make the task slightly more challenging. So this is Gemini Robotics 1.5. Aloha, could you sort these fruits into color matching plates? Sure, I can certainly help you do that. Put the green fruit into the green plate. We enable it to think. It can perceive the environment. It will think step by step and then finish this multi-step task. Put the banana into the yellow plate. Although this example seems very simple, the idea behind it is really powerful. The same model is going to power more sophisticated robots like a humanoid to do more complicated daily tasks. Hi, Apollo. Can you help me sort my laundry, please? Sure, I can help with that. Put whites in white bins and the darks in the dark bin. Beautiful, okay. And then I can now switch this up on it. Sorry, Apollo. And it knows that I have done that and it will react. So you can see the whole flow of its thoughts here and it's thinking every time it acts. Gemini Robotics 1.5 can break a broad task down, think, and then take action over a number of steps. And through improved embodied reasoning, the model can now understand its environment more clearly and figure out what to do next to complete the task. Hey Aloha, let's play a game. So I have a scene in front of you. I'm gonna make some secret changes. You'll have to figure out what they are and then reset the scene back to the original state. Can you reset the scene, please? Based on the changes, I need to close the laptop, close the glasses case, put the green pen back in the brown tray, and place the red and blue pens back into the black mesh holder. The scene has been restored to its original state. Thank you, Aloha. If we change these objects completely, brought in new ones, swapped them out, if they look very different, that wouldn't matter at all to Gemini. It understands generalizing to the open world of objects and scenes. New agentic capabilities mean Gemini Robotics 1.5 can use the internet to answer questions and solve problems. Hi Aloha, can you use my location and sort the objects into the correct compost recycling and trash bins? To perform the sorting task based on San Francisco waste guidelines, I will use the green bin for compost, the blue bin for recycling, and the black bin for trash. The task is complete. Good job, thanks. Another step change with Gemini Robotics 1.5 is that now all of our robots use the same model without needing to fine-tune it for different form factors. Traditionally, people will train a single model per robot. One of the key things in 1.5 is that now all of our other robots can actually do the same task. Learning data is shared across all robots of all shapes and sizes, helping them master a wider range of tasks much more quickly. In the future, you might have some robots in a particular application, like in logistics, or another robot in retail, and they're all actually learning from each other, really accelerating the pace at which we can learn to make truly general-purpose robots. Gemini Robotics 1.5 is a step towards bringing truly useful AI agents into the physical world, giving the community a powerful new tool to build the next generation of helpful robots. Learn more at deepmind.google forward slash robotics.